So for most of my life, my sleep schedule has been horrible. Many nights, like in high school, I would fall asleep at like 10 p.m. Okay, no problem. But on the weekends, I would literally go to sleep just before the sun would rise. Like when the birds would start to sing, I would go to sleep. I'd be like, okay, the sun's gonna rise. I'm not gonna be able to fall asleep when it's bright, so I'm gonna fall asleep now. And bro, no joke, many nights of the week, I would go to sleep at 4 p.m. I was so tired on the way home from school that I would literally go to sleep as soon as I got home. I would sleep 4 p.m. till 11 p.m. Then I'd wake up at 11 p.m. and I'd go downstairs and my mom would be awake because she sleeps pretty late. And she'd be like, oh, you go to sleep, you got school tomorrow. And I'd be like, yeah, I just slept for six hours. And like, I'd be eating at like 11 p.m. So bro, for most of my life, my sleep schedule was horrible. And I almost never got a good night of sleep. I'd wake up in the morning and get ready for school, right? And I'd be in the shower. As soon as the hot water would hit me, it would put me in a trance. I was so tired, the warm water was so relaxing, I would like start to fall asleep in the shower. And bro, on the bus, on the way to school, I'd be like, and I'd like doze off all the time because my sleep was horrible. But now bro, I started taking my sleep seriously. And now I fall asleep really, really fast most nights. And I actually have good sleep and it has changed my life. So in this video, I'm gonna explain to you the exact strategies I use to improve my sleep drastically. Because I used to think I had insomnia. I used to think I had some kind of like mental condition that prevented me from being able to fall asleep. But the reality is I was just doing all the horrible behaviors that affected my ability to sleep. I was not doing the behaviors that I needed to do to make my sleep better. So that brings me on to the first piece of advice, first tip. Sleep is a habit. Your ability to fall asleep is a habit. So if you eat a meal at the same time every day, you probably start to get hungry around that time, right? It's because your body is priming yourself to eat. It's making you hungry. Same thing with sleep. If you sleep at the same time every single day and you have like the same routine before bed every single day, your body will start to prime you to fall asleep by making you tired and help you sleep faster. So the first thing I can tell you is you need to make sleep a habit. It's the boring thing, you know, you're gonna wanna skip this cause you're like, you'll be like, oh bro, no, give me some, give me the quick fix, bro. This is, this is boring, give me the quick fix. But this is the most important step. You need to sleep at the same time every single day, wake up at the same time every single day and do the same routine before bedtime every single day. You do this one thing and I guarantee your sleep will improve a ton because your body will actually get used to your sleep time and will start to make you tired at the same time every single day. And you're probably thinking like, oh bro, yeah, no problem. I've got a bedtime, bro. I fall asleep at 10 p.m. I, I have a bedtime of 10 p.m. every day, bro, no problem. But do you actually take it seriously? Most guys, they have a bedtime, but it's not actually a bedtime. It's like an optional bedtime. Like they'll be like, yeah, bro, I sleep at 10 p.m. every day, unless I'm scrolling on my phone, then I'm gonna sleep at 11 p.m. Oh, but bro, if, I, if I'm playing a video game, then yeah, no problem, I'll sleep a bit later than 10 p.m. Like their bedtime is optional. You probably go to class on time, right? Like you're always like on time to go to class because you take your class seriously. But how come you're not on time to go to bed? It's because you don't take your bedtime seriously. Bro, we all know that sleep is the most important thing in our life, right? It's the priority in our life that improves everything. So we have to take our sleep time seriously, our sleep seriously. So you've probably got a bedtime, but you just have to start taking it seriously. That's the first piece of advice I can tell you. Okay, so now the first tip I can give you, I learned this from the scientist Andrew Huberman. You wanna control lights. So one hour before you go to bed, you wanna dim the lights down. So the reason for this is lights are a pretty new invention, right? Like before like 300, years ago, there were no lights. So the only light we had was the sun. And as soon as the sun would set, our body would go, okay, it's nighttime. It's time to start getting tired. But these days, when the sun sets, we still have lights above us. So our brain thinks, okay, it's still daytime. There's still lights above us. We don't need to be tired yet. So what you need to do is an hour to two hours before bedtime, you need to turn off your lights or dim them significantly. And then your brain will go, okay, the sun's gone. Time to start getting tired. Bro, you do this one thing, you will get a lot of improvement to your sleep. Simply turning down the lights one to two hours before bedtime. And it's mainly the overhead lights that you wanna turn down because those are the ones that mimic the sun. The lights that are like level or below eye level, you can keep them a bit brighter. You know, I'm not saying be in like pitch black darkness, but you gotta dim the lights significantly. Me personally, I use candlelight. Actually, I got my candle right here. So I use this candle and it's nice and relaxing as well before bed, just using this candle. Okay, so that's the first part of the routine. The routine starts like an hour before bed. I turn off all the lights. And now the second tip I can give you is, okay, so sleep is basically a period of no focus. You know, when you're working, you're focused. 
But when you're sleeping, you're not focused. Your focus is on nothing. So if something's on your mind before you're going to bed, you know, you're feeling stressed about something, there's something you're worrying about, you need to calm yourself down before you go to bed. So have some kind of thing in your nighttime routine to calm yourself down. So one thing I like to do is I like to just go into my journal and just write. Write for like 20 minutes what's on my mind and just get it out of my head so that I can relax before bed. Another way to relax that I like to do is a, like a breathing exercise. So there's this breathing exercise I learned from the scientist Andrew Huberman. It's called a physiological sigh. When you do this, your heart rate will slow down and you'll start to really relax. If you've never done this before, it is amazing. So here's exactly how you do the physiological sigh. So what you wanna do is you wanna take a deep inhale, then you wanna stop, take another inhale, and then slowly exhale. So it's like this. And you wanna ensure that your exhale is longer than your inhale. Because if your exhale is longer than your inhale, your heart rate will slow down. So do this for a couple cycles, even try it now if you've never done it before, you will realize it seriously relaxes you. So that's the second step, relax yourself before bed. And on that, by the way, don't do any activities before bed that like spike your emotions. Like you might realize that when you scroll through social media, you know, you see a guy here who's something bad's happening to him. You see a guy here who's like something sad's happening to him. You know, your emotions are being pulled everywhere. You want to do something more relaxing before bed. So, you know, don't have any hard conversations. Don't go on like, don't scroll on social media. You know, I'm not saying don't use your phone, but just don't do these things that like make your emotions go everywhere. You want to be nice and relaxed in a mode of no focus. Okay, so that's the second part of the nighttime routine. The third part is what exactly you do before bed. So to get you further into a state of no focus, you want to do some kind of relaxing activity before bed. This is what I do. I personally, either I'll listen to some kind of long form podcast or I will read a book. Now you want to read something that's not very mentally demanding. That's why I don't really like to read nonfiction unless it's a very simple book or something I've read before. Often I'll just read fiction or I'll listen to a podcast that's a lot more relaxing. Because if you're like reading something that's got you thinking and got you like, you know, coming up with all these ideas, it's gonna prevent you from falling asleep because you're gonna be thinking of those ideas as you try to sleep. So do some kind of relaxing activity before bed. If you've never read fiction before bed, it's you could try it. For me at least, reading fiction before bed is like a sleeping pill. Like what I do is I read the book until like I get so tired that I struggle to keep my eyes open. That usually happens after like 20 to 30 minutes. So I'll be like reading with my Kindle and as soon as I start to feel like really tired, my eyes are like closing, turn off the Kindle, put it aside and just fall asleep. So find the activity that works for you. Okay, now a bonus tip here. If you go to the toilet in the middle of the night, then listen up. So there is something people do when they go to the toilet in the middle of the night that is destroying their sleep quality. So what do many guys do? Most guys, they'll, be like, they'll wake up in the middle of the night and they'll be like, oh, I gotta pee, bro. So <laughs> they'll go out of their room, they'll go to the toilet and they'll do something that destroys their ability to sleep. They will turn on the overhead lights. Now here's what I learned from the scientist Andrew Huberman. If you're taking a piss in the middle of the night and you turn on the overhead lights, then bro, in your body you've got this sleep hormone that makes you tired called melatonin. When you wake up, your melatonin is really high. As soon as you turn on the overhead lights, your melatonin drops to near zero. You are literally taking your hormone that's making you tired and you're destroying it when you turn on those overhead lights. Because you're basically telling your body, okay, bro, it's morning time, it's time to wake up. So if you go to the toilet in the middle of the night, do not turn on the overhead lights unless you wanna affect your sleep quality when you go back. So what I personally do, sometimes it's bright enough outside that I can just go to the toilet without any lights, or I'll just bring my phone and I'll just use the light on the phone. So do whatever you want, just don't turn on the overhead lights. Another bonus tip uh, when it comes to nighttime urination, me personally, I've always been like the type of guy who goes to the toilet like four or five times in the middle of the night. So here's how you prevent going to the toilet so much in the middle of the night. So once, once or twice is fine, you know, once is fine or whatever. So this is what, again, something I learned from the scientist Andrew Huberman. It's gonna sound obvious, but three hours before bed, you wanna limit your water intake to about 250 milliliters. I don't know what that number is for the Americans out there, maybe like six ounces or something, but you wanna limit your water intake. I know this sounds really obvious, but I never did this. Before bed, I would chug like a liter of water and I, I was always like, oh man, why do I keep peeing at night? You simply need to reduce your water intake three hours before bed. And one thing on that as well, don't chug the water. 
you need to sip it. The slower you drink the water, the slower you'll urinate it out basically. Okay, and the final part of actually falling asleep, it's when, you like, when you're like lying down and you got your eyes closed and you're trying to fall asleep. What exactly do you do to fall asleep faster? So what I used to do was I used to like imagine I was like playing a video game in my head. Like when I used to play Minecraft, I would like imagine I was like building something in Minecraft in my head. That can work. But here's another one that I learned from a book called Why We Sleep by Matt Walker. So basically what you want to do is in your head, you want to imagine you're taking a walk, a walk that you're very familiar with. So like for me, I would close my eyes and I would imagine I'm walking to uni. I'd like ma imagine in as much detail as possible that walk to uni. And then after a while, you would just fall asleep. So that's a bonus thing. You can try that. So yeah, bro, if you actually want this video to help you, don't don't make this another video where you like watch it and then you're like, oh, cool, that, that was nice. Thanks for these tips. And then you move on to the next video. If you actually want to improve your sleep and you want this video to work for you, then you need to implement at least one of these tips tonight, bro. Take the tip that resonated with you most and do it tonight. If you took any one of these tips in this video, and did it every day for the rest of your life, you'd have a massive improvement in your health. So right now, think, okay, what is the tip that I'm gonna use tonight? And you know, maybe even take it to the next level and go to the comments and write down the tip that you're gonna do tonight. So yeah, bro, go do it, get good sleep. See you later.